As a coordinator, it's really easy to communicate with your members on Community Weaver 3. So I'm just going to show you one of the ways that you can do that in this video. The first thing that you need to do is go to the menu on the right hand side and click on Members. And this will take you to a list of all the members in your time bank. So if you wanted to send an email to all of them, all you have to do is go to this drop down menu and click All Members Shown. Now we have all the members in the time bank selected. We can compose an email just by clicking here. And here you can write anything that you want, anything that you need to tell your time bank members about. So for example, let's say we're having a clean up in the park. And then once we have everything written in the emails, you can choose the day and the time that you want to send it out. So if it was on Saturday, I could send it out on Thursday, maybe at 5 p.m. And then if you click the schedule for delivery button, it will save the email until Thursday and send it out then. So that's really easy. And another helpful tool are the filters. So if we don't want to send an email to everyone, we can go back to the members page and we can click on filters, show all. And then all of these filters you can use to choose the members that you want to contact. So for example, if we wanted to just contact one affiliation in the time bank, like the Green Parks Association. I could choose that. And then I'm going to have two members from that association. And I have to select no members and then click on the members that I do want. Make sure that it then says two members selected up here opposed to your whole time bank. So that then you can go into member actions and compose a broadcast email again just as we did before. The useful thing about the filters is that you can put one filter on top of each other. So within this Green Parks Association I can then go and look at who's had an exchange using this filter. And if I say yes, has had an exchange, I then get one person. It's really important though that you always go back to this toolbox and select no members and then select the member that you want. Because if you don't go back to that box then it will select probably all the members in your time bank and if you don't want to contact them that wouldn't be good.